Hello, welcome back. Pen Home has released its residential market report 2023 and Outlook 2024. This latest report reveals important findings as an initiative to increase access to home ownership, especially for Indonesia's younger generation. According to government statistics, around 81 million Indonesian millennials still do not own a home. However, Pen Home's analysis still found some positive trends. The government's value-added tax, or VAT, exemption program propelled a 27% surge in demand for new homes by the end of 2023. Meanwhile, there was significant growth in housing demand in tourist-centric areas, such as Bali, and in areas with high infrastructure development, such as Tangerang and West Bandung. And in response to the Federal Reserve's rate hikes and their impact on loans in Indonesia, buyers favoured shorter loan tenures to alleviate long-term interest burdens. To talk more about how the younger generation in Indonesia can buy a house and what opportunities and challenges they may encounter, join me now in the studio is Dayu Dara Pramata, and she is the CEO as well as founder of Finhome, which is a property tech platform offering end-to-end -end home ownership solutions. Hi Dara, thank you for stopping by. Pleasure is mine. Thanks for having me, Alia. Yeah, of course. So, based on the Pin Home Residential Market Report in 2023, and as well as the Outlook, uh, there are many young Indonesians who do not own a home. It's mentioned that our um, that number is 81 million millennials who do not own a house. Mm -hmm. So, what are the main obstacles uh, faced by the youth in owning a house? Absolutely. Before that, allow me to introduce Pin Home. Pin Home is property technology platform for home seekers, focusing on first-time home buyers. And on Pin Home, basically, you can find properties, sell and rental, agents, you can mm. find even home services such as home cleaning, electronic AC repairs and maintenance. Mm -hmm. And our vision is to unlock home ownership. Now to your question, Alia, about what is this Absolutely. reason mm. or the, the reason between the gap um, between reality and aspiration. So the reality is 81 million millennials are yet to own their home. But at the same time, recent studies show that millennials are prioritizing to buy their home, right? They like home ownership and they aspire to have home ownership. And the challenges are really two fronts. One is find the information gap. Mm -hmm. And the information gap is really about limited information on home ownership. And right. that's what Pin Home is trying to solve mm. by kind of providing all information necessary to make informed decisions and start your home ownership journey such as how much property can I afford? What is my monthly mortgage installment? And for example, what are the steps to buy a home? What are the requirements for mortgage? What is the down payment that I have to pay? And all those informations are available for every listing that you're seeing. You're seeing all these statistics and numbers about how much that would translate to your monthly mortgage payment and how much down payment you have to prepare, what's the simulation for the mortgage, mm -hmm. etc. And the second challenge is really financial constraints. Mm. So simply put, the increase in property prices are much higher than the increase in income. Right. Property prices in increase 5 to 10% a year, but income only increase about 2.5% a year. Mm. That gets it, uh, that, that, that makes uh, home ownership becomes more difficult. Mm -hmm. Now, how Pin Home is solving that playing our part is by giving access to more affordable housing. So of the millions of properties that are on Pin Home, about 80% are in category of affordable homes. Right. More than 20% are in properties that are less than 300 million. Mm -hmm. ah. And sometimes even property is affordable or seemingly affordable, you still need financing. We also provide access to financing, mortgage, from right. hundreds of programs um, from 20 different banks. All right, so I mean, uh, there are a lot of young people um, maybe not feeling enough um, on uh, on their own uh, salary, although they have a fixed income every month. So what is your uh, suggestion for them? I mean, uh, um, having a salary of 5 million rupiah uh, a month, do you think they are eligible enough to own a house in Jakarta? Absolutely. Or Tangerang? Absolutely. Mm. You could basically earn, let's say, 4 million, which is lower than in the, the, the Jakarta's minimum wage, yeah. and can still buy a home. Government, for example, has a set of properties called subsidized home price at about 168 170 million mm -hmm. and if you're earning a certain um, category of income like 
4 million or basically below minimum wage, you can get access to subsidized mortgage and subsidized housing. Mm. Um, but essentially, home ownership is accessible, right? Um, what you need to know is what is the property price that you can afford and whether you're eligible for mortgage. Mm -hmm. And on Pin Home, those are the first few questions that we help answer mm -hmm. through features like home buying tutorial, mortgage simulation, right. mm -hmm. uh, property price estimate or budget estimate. Mm -hmm. These are the features that we build specifically targeted at first time home buyers so yeah. they can they can have information. But so uh, we're looking at 81 millions uh, millennials out, out there um, and generations that who are not owning a house yet. So what why is it happening in Indonesia? Well, definitely the first is information gaps, mm. right? Uh, I mentioned about the information gaps having limited access to information to understand where can you start your home ownership journey. Mm. So they have to start searching for that as well, right? Absolutely. Mm. So you need to know with your income right now, how much is the maximum price of property that you can afford. Yeah. And if you feel you need financing, mm -hmm. then how much is the monthly mortgage installment and whether you're eligible for mortgage. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be also questions about how much down payment that you have to prepare and what is the transaction fee associated with buying a home. All this financial information, you need to know so you can plan ahead. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the first challenge that we're, we're tackling for Pin Home. Uh, the second challenge I, I mentioned about financial constraints and the solution to that, at least from Pin Home point of view, is just making and surfacing these affordable homes to first time home buyers. Mm -hmm. And hopefully then they will also be supported by financial incentive, tax incentive from government like VAT exemption that we just talked about, mm -hmm. right? Um, or, uh, for example, rapid infrastructure development that would allow um, like other areas adjacent to Jakarta with cheaper land price mm -hmm. to get developed by private yeah. property developers. Since you mentioned about the government, uh, so what is the stakeholders' role, including a government as well as developers, in sort of like closing the gap? Absolutely, like they both play a very important role to increase home ownership. Mm -hmm. Home ownership is about accessibility of the supply, mm -hmm. having affordable supplies, affordable properties. And what, for example, uh, giving a real example of how government helped increase home ownership. With the VAT exemption that was released in November 2023, just in one month time, we saw surge of demand and transaction between mm -hmm. November to December at about 27%. That's just month over month. Right. Because home seekers are super excited about having that access to, you know, no 11% tax on the yeah. new homes. Mm. Um, and then, and second example about how rapid infrastructure development by the government really helped propel the growth of the supply. Mm. Um, so Serpong Bogor Toll Road construction actually helped increase supply in, in the area adjacent to the mm. toll road mm. by 115%. So primary property developers are super excited when they saw that there, there, there is this massive toll road construction. They right. started, you know, securing lands and building property. So we look at uh, other, other, other places, maybe surrounding Jakarta. So when you talk about um, affordable housing options in, in the city, uh, yeah. in Jakarta, has there been a shortage of affordable housing? Because we know that uh, the first time buyer might be thinking, oh, those are just too expensive. I just need to yeah. find a home outside Jakarta, maybe on the outskirts. Yes, no, absolutely. Well, property, prices and lands in big cities tend to be more expensive mm. and that's why it's really important for home seekers to look for opportunities to buy a home in mm -hmm. adjacent cities mm -hmm. where the infrastructure development mm -hmm. is going rapidly because that will definitely warrant good ap appraisal right. in, in property prices, mm. right? Um, increase in property price over the years uh, after you purchase them. Uh, and also it will provide you with accessibility. So if, although you live in city center like in Bogor and mm. Tangerang or Depok or Bekasi because of the accessibility, it's not too painful for you to travel into the city. Actually, matter of fact, it could be faster than if you were tra to travel inside the city with car. Hopefully we see that in the next uh, very coming future. So just very short, uh, some trends you expect to see in, in the coming years simple home search is going to be online and home financing is going to be online hmm. and home search is going to be online because if you see these millennials it's one thing that they have in common is there's glue to their phones and hmm. smartphone is everything is there how they access information and how they access information about home ownership as well 
And we see that the home seekers, millennial home seekers, are getting more and uh, more and more savings and getting smarter. Mm. So when they look for homes, they're not just looking at based on, for example, pricing or areas. They look at based on what is the financing scheme, what is the incentives like? Yep. Is it a zero percent loan payment? We see these keywords being thrown. Exactly. Um, yeah. Is it like, for example? You know, I can install the down payment over a longer period of time for new properties, for example. Mm -hmm. Now, on the mortgage side, the home seekers are also looking for mortgage online, right? Mm -hmm. And the two things that we're seeing the trend, number one is they're looking for longer fixed period because they realize how interest rate volatility could really affect their mortgage installment and all of a sudden your mortgage installment becomes much higher mm -hmm. when you're in a floating period, right? right, right. So. Mm -hmm. That's the first one. And the second one is they will think about refinancing once they go in the floating period. So they are becoming more and more financially savvy. All right. That's great to hear. And thank you so much for giving us all the information and insights, Dara. Pleasure is mine. Thanks, Yes, Abby. and Pinhome offers that uh, services as well. So, yeah, young generation, you can check out Pinhome. All right. We're going for a break. When we return, we'll have more business and economic updates. So stay tuned on C Today Business. Thank you. Thank you.